guys are phenomenal. AJ Styles, and you're watching Red Oak Live. What is going on, guys? Brett Alive back with another video, and this is the Week in Review 5. We are already on Episode 5, and again, this is the Week in Review when I go over Raw and SmackDown, and if there's a pay-per-view on Sunday, in a setup style. So without further ado, we're going to get into Raw, and then we will get into SmackDown. I will rate the shows at the end like I always do, so without further ado, let's get into it. Alright, over here, starting off, we have Naomi celebrating on the top rope because she just beat... Billy Kay of the Iconics in a very quick match. Uh, I was actually really not expecting. I thought Billy Kay and Peyton Royce were going to cheat to win, but Naomi actually picked up the victory, which is pretty interesting there. Uh, Becky Lynch versus Alicia Fox. Alicia Fox did end up tapping out uh, to the disarmor by Becky Lynch. And then Lacey Evans out of nowhere with the woman's, woman's right to Becky Lynch out of nowhere. And I really like how they're pushing Lacey Evans. I love the character. I love her. She's a great wrestler. And, yeah, I just love it, man. Really cool to see that. Oh, oh, I will get into that. Hold on one sec. Here we have Sami Zayn, just like last week in Montreal. He just dissed the fans. He's like, oh, uh, because he was out for like 10 months with like a shoulder injury. And he's like, those 10 months were like the best of my entire life because he was away from the fans. Quote, unquote, him. He said that. I didn't say that. But yeah, Sami Zayn, really happy that, uh... He was away from the fans for uh, for 10 months, but yeah, now he's back, and now he's depressed, he said. Uh, over here, I was very disappointed, very, very disappointed. Uh, I'm not sure if Cesaro is still with the bar. They said on, uh, uh, on Raw that he's going to be going singles, which I'm like, wait, really? But they were still playing Samish's music for his entrance, and he was still doing the bar thing, so I'm really confused. But yeah, it was Cedric Alexander versus Cesaro, Cedric's debut match on Raw. And he just got buried, man. I felt bad. I know it's I know it's all scripted and everything, but like to have your first match and just get buried. Poor Cedric Alexander. I for sure thought Cedric Alexander was gonna win the match, but Cesaro came out on top. Oh uh, Robert Rude. Yeah, you guys heard me right. Robert Rude. Very interesting. Oh uh, yeah, Robert Rude. Or Bobby Rude or what whatever. Uh beat Ricochet. Another very surprising one. I was very I thought for Cedric for sure, and I thought Ricochet for sure to beat Bobby Roode, but Bobby Roode didn't end up picking up the victory, and I wasn't too fond of it. Uh yeah, Chad Gable and Bobby Roode are done. I predicted that a while back. I knew that tag team was breaking up soon. And yeah, Bobby Roode, I honestly couldn't care less about the character anymore. Uh, beginning of the show started off with Seth Rounds and Triple H, and then there were gonna be two triple threat matches. In the night, the winner of both those triple threat matches will face each other, and the winner faces Seth Rollins and Money in the Bank. I was at the last Money in the Bank, one of the one of the best shows I've ever been to, and yeah. So the triple threat matches were. I know that's a big cast, but I'm intending that to be Drew McIntyre. Drew McIntyre, Baron Corbin, and The Miz had a freaking amazing, amazing, amazing triple threat match. Ten out of ten, right there, uh, and. Very surprised. I thought I thought uh, Drew McIntyre for sure. I thought Drew McIntyre for sure. But Baron Corbin did pick up the victory in this triple threat match. And then the other triple threat match was AJ Styles versus Rey Mysterio versus Samoa Joe. And AJ Styles picked up the victory with this wicked Styles clash. This is exactly what happened. He Styles clashed Rey Mysterio right on Samoa Joe. Absolutely wicked. And then uh, they had this wicked move from the top rope. He had him like in a uh, headlock on the side. And then um, uh, Drew McIntyre... Uh, power bombed them both from the top. Absolutely wicked two triple threat matches. I loved them both. And then AJ Styles and Brian Corbin went one on one, and Styles ended up picking up the victory with a phenomenal forearm. We are not done, and I was really happy about that. I love AJ Styles. AJ Styles versus Seth Rollins at Money in the Bank is going to be freaking awesome. Moving backstage now, uh, there was some little things back here. Uh, Kurt Hawkins and Zack Ryder were interviewed after the match uh, that they watched backstage. Uh, they saw the match, uh, the Viking Raiders, yes, they changed the name. I do still prefer War Raiders, I think that flows better. I think Viking Raiders is a little weak still, but it's better than Viking Experience. I'll give them that. It was the, the Viking Experience versus the Lucha House Party, and the match never even got underway. Uh, the War Raiders are heel, uh, which I'm not too fond of as well, but uh, yeah, they did. They took him out before the match even started, and then we never got the match, which I couldn't care less about that match anyway. And then Zack Ryder and Kurt Hawkins were backstage. They're like, we're not afraid of them. We're going to beat them when we face them. But yeah, interested to see what they're going to do with them as champions. And then over here, this was probably the funnest thing of the night. <coughs> this was actually funny. Okay, the Usos were getting interviewed. 
Uh, and then the Revival come in, they're like, oh, we're beating you the next time we face it. And then the Usos fake fall asleep. Oh my god, I was actually laughing out loud. I was actually laughing. This was funny, man. And then Usos always cut the best promos, man. They're freaking amazing. That's why they're one of my favorite tag teams of all time. And then, yeah, the Revival got basically made fools of backstage. Oh, and then one more thing I want to talk about. Uh, Bray Wyatt. Oh my god. Definitely let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about Bray Wyatt's new spiel. I don't even know what is happening. Oh, uh, he called it the um, Firefly Funhouse. And it was him acting like a lunatic. Uh, well, not really a lunatic. I don't even know. I, I was so confused. But at the same time, I sort of liked it. But at the same time, I'm like, oh, but what about the old Bray Wyatt? And at the same time, I'm like... What is happening? Uh, check out the video on WWE uh, YouTube channel. I can't show it here, otherwise I get copyright. But yeah, check it out on the WWE YouTube channel. It was like insane. Uh, yeah, I, I, I don't know what to. I don't even know what to say about it. But definitely let me know in the comments down below what you guys think is going to happen with that. And now we'll get in to the blue brand. Okay, guys. Now we are going to be moving into Smack Down Live. Um, absolutely amazing show. Very surprising things happened in the show, as you guys saw in the thumbnail. Kevin Owens. We're going to get into it. So let's start over here. Okay. First up, we have Oscar. I didn't really have all the characters for this setup, so I just set up Oscar so that it remind me to talk about it. But yes, it was Kyrie Sane versus uh, Billy Kay or Peyton Royce, whatever iconic it was. But uh, Kyrie Sane did up, end up winning the match with an insane elbow from the top rope. And then uh, Mandy Rose and Sonya Deville come out, and then they just stood up on the uh, stage just staring at them. But yeah, pretty interesting, pretty interesting to see what's going on there. Of course, Paige bringing up Asuka and Kyrie Sane as a tag team. Pretty interesting to see what they're going to be doing with that. But yeah, that's what happened there. Uh, moving uh, over here. There was supposed to be a match. It was supposed to be Chad Gable versus Jinder Mahal. And then it ended up in an all-out onslaught. Lars Sullivan come out again. He took out Chad Gable and the Singh Brothers. Of course, the Singh Brothers are totally beat-up toys. Uh, and Jinder Mahal ended up escaping. But yeah, Lars Sullivan took out Chad Gable and um, the Singh Brothers. And then R-Truth tried to come out, uh, get some revenge since last week. Uh... Archer did get taken out by Lars Sullivan last week, so Archer tried to get some revenge. Did not work out in Archer's favor, and he also got taken out. So Lars Sullivan's just been destroying everybody. I can't wait till he tries to take out like Braun Strowman or something, and then Braun Strowman fights back and takes him out. I just can't wait to see that happen. But yeah, that's what happened there. Pretty good match over here. It was Bailey versus Charlotte. The promo, they had a promo here with Becky, it was Becky Lynch, Bailey, and Charlotte all in a triple threat promo. It was freaking amazing. It Literally, it blew me away how amazing the promo is. Of course, all the little video clips are up on WWE's YouTube channel. Check them all out. But yeah, one of the best promos for the woman here on SmackDown. And then Charlotte and Bailey had a match. Winner faces Becky Lynch in a future SmackDown Live title opportunity. And then Charlotte, of course, got the victory. I really wanted to see something different. Maybe Bailey picking up the victory. Maybe Bailey getting a championship opportunity. But no, of course, it was Charlotte. Uh, moving over here, another great match. Oh, my brand new fix up Finn Balor right there. Definitely know what you guys think in the comments down below. Uh, yes, it was Finn Balor versus Andrade Cien Almas. And Finn Balor ended up picking up the victory. It was very interesting. Again, another interesting three thing. Selena Vega tried to cheat. And help Andrade win, but it worked out in Finn Balor's favor. Uh, Selena Vega, Vega nearly took out Andrade Cien Almas to the point where he wasn't paying attention. Finn Balor hit the coup de gras, and then Finn Balor picked up the victory. Yeah, very interesting right there. Moving over here, started the show. Roman Reigns, Shane Man's like, get out here, Roman Reigns. You're going to need some repercussions for taking out Mr. Man, my father, last week. Get out here right now. And then it was just... In attack. It was a trap. It's a trap, as Admiral Akbar would say. But yes, it was a trap. Shane McMahon and Elias took out Roman Reigns in the ring. So I'm, I'm interested to see uh, what they're going to do in the future. I know it's Elias versus Roman Reigns at Money in the Bank. I think Roman Reigns should be in the Money in the Bank match, but whatever. Uh, they're still uh, waiting. I'm still waiting on uh, uh, what WWE is going to announce. Uh, for who is going to be in the Money in the Bank matches. Really interested to see what's going to happen there. Definitely let me know what your predictions are in the comments down below for who you think is going to be in the Money in the Bank match. 
Moving here to the last match, it was Shinsuke Nakamura versus Kofi Kingston. The match never finished. Rusev interfered before Kofi Kingston could get the pin, and then I called it 10 seconds before it happened. The Big O. Kevin Owens. I knew it. Kevin Owens cannot be a face. He cannot be a good guy. I knew this was going to happen. He took out Kofi Kingston with a super kick, and then he assaulted Xavier Woods by pop-up powerbombing him on the freaking apron. I knew Kevin Owens was going to turn heel. I knew this couldn't work out. It was too cringy. I didn't really like the Big O, to be honest with you. I love a heel Kevin Owens. I think everybody likes a heel Kevin Owens. He did take out Kofi Kingston. I freaking loved it, man. Oh, my God. I cannot wait. Oh, Kevin Owens versus Kofi Kingston, probably at Money in the Bank. That's going to be freaking amazing. I can absolutely not wait. Definitely let me know what you guys thought about SmackDown and Raw in the comments down below. My highlight for SmackDown, definitely Kevin Owens. Definitely Kevin Owens. Uh, if I were to rate both shows this week, Raw, I would give a solid 8 out of 10. Thought uh, I was really disappointed with the tag team match with the Viking Raiders and uh, Robert Roode, whatever that garbage was, and Cedric Alexander losing, and Ricochet losing, whatever, man. SmackDown, absolutely amazing show, amazing matches. Finn Balor, Charlotte and Bailey was absolutely amazing. Asuka and Kyrie Sane, nothing really much there. And then Kevin Owens turning... On Kofi Kingston of the New Day. Definitely let me know what you guys are going to rate Raw and SmackDown in the comments down below. And I'll see you next time. Brittle Live. Out.